Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths, uh, Paper 1, 2020. This is the solution video for question 3. Question 3 is a functions question. We have two functions, f of x is equal to 6x minus 5 and g of x is equal to x plus 5 over 6. Investigate if the f of g of x is equal to the g of f of x. So the f of g of x is doing uh, the g of x first and then doing the f of x. So basically sub the g of x into the f of x. So that is equal to 6 times x plus 5 over 6 minus 5. So then that would be 6 cancels with 6. That's equal to x plus 5 minus 5 is equal to x. That's the f of g of x. And then the g of f of x is doing the f of x first and subbing that into g. So that would be 6x minus 5 plus 5 over 6. So that gives us 6x plus 5 minus 5 over 6 plus 5 minus 5, that's equal to 6x over 6. 6 is cancelled and that's just equal to x. So the conclusion there is that the f of g of x is equal to the g of f of x. Part B, the real variables y and x are related by y is equal to 5x squared. The equation y equal to 5x squared can be written in the form log base 5 of y is equal to a plus b times the log base 5 of x. Find the value of a and the value of b. Okay, so we're starting with y is equal to 5x squared. Now, I want to get log base 5 of y on the left hand side so I can do that in one step by taking the log base 5 but I'll need to do that to both sides so log base 5 of y is equal to log base 5 of 5x squared so I have my log base 5 of y on the left what can I do to the right hand side to get it in this form here? Well, I can use my laws of logs and I can split this up into log of 5 base 5 plus the log of x squared base 5. I can continue to use my laws of logs, log of y base 5. Log of 5 base 5 is 1 and then the log of x squared base 5, I can take the squared out in front here and say that's 2 log x base 5. So now I have it in this form here. So that means a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2. Okay, and on to part 2. Hence or otherwise find the real values of y for which log of y base 5 is equal to 2 times the log of this here base 5. Okay so the solution I have for this is quite long um, I'm not sure maybe there is um, a quicker solution to it but you have a good bit of space in the exam paper for it so I'd suspect they are expecting you to uh, show quite a bit of work. So we'll start with what we're given which is log of y base 5 is equal to 2 plus log base 5 of this thing, which is 1, 2, 6 over 25 x minus 1. Now, instead of log of y base 5, I can sub in 1 plus 2 log of x base 5. And then on the right hand side, I leave it as 2 plus log base 5 of 1, 2, 6 over 25 x minus 1. So then I can take all the logs to one side and all the numbers to the other side. So I'm going to take all the logs to the left hand side. That's 2 log x base 5 minus the log of 
uh, log base 5 of 1 to 6 over 25 x minus 1 and that will be equal to 2 minus 1 which is 1. So then I can use laws of logs again to say it's this one uh, minus this one is going to be log base 5 of um, this divided by this. But before I do that, I just have to take this 2 back up into the power. So I'm going to put the 2 up there in the power and get rid of it from there. So now I just have log base 5 of x squared minus log base 5 of this thing here. So that's equal to log base 5 of x squared divided by this, which is 1, 2, 6 over 25 x minus 1. And that's equal to 1. So now I have something that it might look complicated, but if this thing in the brackets here was just a simple x, then I would be able to write that as um, x to the power of um, 1 is equal to 5. So that's just going to be x squared over 1, 2, 6 over 25 x minus 1 is equal to 5. So we've gotten rid of the logs and now I just have this equation which is a quadratic equation in x that I need to solve um, to get my values for x and then I'll get my values for y from that. So let's work through this. Uh, I'll have to multiply across by the denominator. That'll be x squared is equal to 5 times 1, 2, 6 over 25x minus 1. Uh, multiply out this bracket here, that's x squared is equal to 5 times 1, 2, 6x uh, over 25. That's going to be 1, 2, 6x over 5, and that'll be minus 5, 5 by 1. Then I'll multiply across by 5 to get rid of the fraction further. So I get 5x squared is equal to 1, 2, 6x minus 5. Uh, take everything to one side then. I have 5x squared minus 1, 2, 6, uh, 1, 2, 6x plus 5 is equal to uh, 0. And sorry, I've just realized that I didn't multiply the 5 by 5. It's actually 25, isn't it? Uh, 25 there like that. So my equation, let's just write it down a little bit clearer, is 5x squared minus 126x plus 25 is equal to 0. So to solve this, uh, I would use the guide number method. So to do that, I do 5 by 25 is equal to 1, 2, 5. And I'm looking for factors of 1, 2, 5 that add to give you minus 1, 2, 6. Well, that's simple enough. It's minus 1, 2, 5 by minus 1. So I'll rewrite my equation as 5x squared minus 1, 2, 5x minus x plus 25 is equal to 0. Take the common factor of the first two, that's 5 by x minus uh, 25. And then take the common factor of the second two, I'll take out minus 1 to get x minus 25 equal to 0. So my factors are x minus 25 times uh, 5x minus 1 equal to zero. There of course should be an x there. So that gives me my two values of x. x is equal to 25 and here 5x is equal to 1 so x is equal to 1 fifth. Now it's not x that I'm looking for it's y so I need to go back and find my relationship between x and y. If I go back to here y is equal to 5x squared so y is equal to 5x squared. So y is equal to 5 times 25 squared. y is equal to 25 squared times 5 is 3125. That's one solution. And the other one is y is equal to 5 times a fifth squared. So that's y is equal to 5 times 1 over 25, which is 5 over 25.
5. So my two solutions are y is equal to 3125 and y is equal to 5 over 25. So like I said, that's a, a long solution. There could well be a quicker way to do it. So if there is, uh, let me know in the comments and we'll, uh, we can have a look at it again. Okay, thanks very much.